West Bengal police are attempting to quell the protest by the Pashtim Banga Chhatra Samaj who demand justice for AV and the resignation of West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee. Water cannons, tear gas and lati charges are being used to ensure there is no stir in Nobuno. Earlier, the Supreme Court had told the Mamata government not to disrupt protest. And it's a call that the West Bengal governor echoed as well. 4,500 police officials along with drones are on the ground. Locations across Kolkata and Howrah are being guarded. The police have also put grease on barricades so that protesters cannot climb over them. Trains at the moment, this is in regard to the fact that West Bengal police are attempting to quell the protests by the Pashtim Chhatra Samaj who are demanding justice over the horrific rape and murder that we did see transpire in Ajikar Hospital. And was in terms of these protests, they're also demanding the resignation of West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee. What we're given to understand while the visuals are depicting the same, right from water cannons to tear gas and lati charges are being used to ensure that there is no stir in Nobonno. And as far as this entire matter is concerned, remember earlier, a few days ago, the top court had told the Mamta-led government not to disrupt. But as far as what the ground situation is looking like on Ground Zero, let me take that back across my colleague, Shreya Mondal. Shreya, as far as these developments are concerned, we'll continue to look at these visuals on our screens as well. Um, tell us the latest. All right, we'll try going to my colleague, Shreya, to get us more details as to essentially what Ground Zero is looking like. But you're looking at these visuals, the set of visuals that you're looking at your screens right now is from Haura. And uh, what we're given to understand is that Section 144 has also been imposed in Nubanna. Shreya, as we look, continue to look at these visuals at the moment, tell us the latest. Alright, we'll try going across to uh, Shreya, uh, given the fact that the kind of situation that we're looking on Ground Zero um, there might be a little bit of a technical issue. But having said that, given to understand is that Section 144 has been imposed in Bonno as we speak. Uh, but remember earlier, the West Bengal Police had called the protest illegal. Uh, but as far as deployment of police personnel on the ground is concerned, at least 4,500 police have been deployed. Let me take that point across to Shreya. Shreya, as far as the given situation is concerned, tell us more. Of course, as you can see right now, police is taking control of the MG road. They're pushing back the protesters. Look uh, how police is asking all the people who are stranded on both sides of the road to go inside. Remember, these are the protesters who have first gathered in College Square. And from College Square, Square, they have gone to Howrah Setu. Now, there we saw a huge confrontation between the police and the protesters. Water cannon was used, tear gas were used for at least a period of 40 minutes. Now, after that, we saw police have hit the street. And at this time, look, look at the confrontation here. Look, look how police is running and chasing away the protester. At this point in time, visuals in front of your screen, police is chasing away these protesters. Continuously, so far, tear gas sales is being used. Uh, water was used in the Howrah Shetu and when police could not control the mob they were chasing away the mob and remember these are the mob who were continuously belting stone at the police force so of course we see there was a huge confrontation that is going on in MG Road in Kolkata on one side we see that police is using tear gas cell for the protesters to disperse the crowd on the other hand look look at how just now a tear gas cell has been fired by it was the DC look at his DC, who is herself using the tear gas cell to control the mob. So on one hand, they're using tear gas cell. On the other hand, protesters are continuously pelting stone. At the All right, we seem to have uh, run into a technical issue. But of course, she's continues, continuously showing us those visuals from ground zero. At the moment, she was talking about how intense the situation has gone. But also, let's tell you that the West Bengal police are attempting to quell the protest. Remember earlier, as far as this matter is concerned, about that particular call of protesting, the West Bengal police had called the protest illegal. Uh, 
At least 4,500 police personnel are on the ground. Shreya, as you continue to show us those developments, we're given to understand that security has also been ramped up, and which is essentially why we're looking at this particular situation at the moment. Remember, this kind of confrontation was anticipated, was expected. We've seen yesterday, the police have done a presso and they have said that there would be mass violence in these protests because of which a huge amount of police force was deployed on ground. And at this point in time, look at the confrontation in MG. This is the MG road in Kolkata we are talking about. We have not seen this kind of pictures. This is really rare. On one side, again, the police is advancing towards the crowd. The police is using lathi to disperse the crowd. The one side so at this point in time, what necessarily the police is doing is that they're taking control of the MG road once again. Remember, these protesters have earlier moved to the Howrah Shetu where there was a massive confrontation. Water cannon and pure gas continuously being used. Also at this point, the strategy of the police is same to take control of the MG road. They are continuously advancing towards the crowd. On the other hand, the protesters, they're also pelting stones at the police. But the police on their side, they are holding... They are firing tear gas and they are uh, chasing the crowd with lattes. West Bengal police are attempting to quell the protest by the Pashtim Banga Chhatra Samaj who demand justice for AV and the resignation of West Bengal Chief Minister Mata Banerjee. Water cannons, tear gas and lati charges are being used to ensure there is no stir in Nobuno. Earlier, the Supreme Court had told the Mamta government not to disrupt protest and it's a call that the West Bengal governor echoed as well. 4,500 police officials along with drones are on the ground. Locations across Kolkata and Howrah are being guarded. The police have also put grease on barricades so that protesters cannot climb over them. Trains at the moment, this is in regard to the fact that West Bengal police are attempting to quell the protests by the Pashtim Chhatra Samaj, who are demanding justice over the horrific rape and murder that we did see transpire in Ajikar Hospital. And was in terms of these protests, they're also demanding the resignation of West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee. What we're given to understand while the visuals are depicting the same, right from water cannons to tear gas and lati charges, are being used to ensure that there is no stir in Nobonno. And as far as this entire matter is concerned, remember earlier, a few days ago, the top court had told the Mamta-led government not to disrupt. But as far as what the ground situation is looking like on Ground Zero, let me take that back to cross my colleague, Shreya Mondal. Shreya, as far as these developments are concerned, we continue to look at these visuals on our screens as well. Um, tell us the latest. All right, we'll try going to my colleague, Shreya, to get us more details as to essentially what Ground Zero is looking like. But you're looking at these visuals, the set of visuals that you're looking at your screens right now is from Haura. And what we're given to understand is that Section 144 has also been imposed in Nubanna. Shreya, as we continue to look at these visuals at the moment, tell us the latest.